we're going to show you all how to upload a video to YouTube as a video response. Right. Okay. So the first thing you want to do uh, with your with your video to upload it is you need an account. You need a Google account because Google and YouTube are linked. So um, if you don't know how to do that, we're going to show you how to do that real quick. All you need to do is go to accounts.google.com and it's going to bring up this web page. And um, if you don't have an account yet, then you want to click right here where it says create an account for free. So we're going to click on that and we are going to sign up and our names, uh, it's, we're going to be Jazz and Alex, oh, Jazz and Alex song person. And, <laughs> <laughs> and our username is going to be uh, song video response at gmail.com. And so uh, you need a password, and uh, there's some rules, like it has to be eight characters long. I think it's the only rule, really, so we'll just uh, put something in. Uh, okay, and it's going to ask you for your birthday. Uh, I'm putting mine in. I hope that's okay. And then uh, it says gender, and I don't know if that's necessary or whatever. Um... <clears throat> Mobile phone number, I don't think you have to put that in, but if you lose your password, then they can, you can, like, text and get it sent to you. Um, and also, if you have a current email address, you can put that in, too. And if you lose your password, then they'll send a confirmation email to your old address, where you can reactivate your Google account. And so, the next thing you need to do is, if you can, uh, verify your account by typing in this text right here. So, um... If you have a hard time reading this text, or you're not able to read it, um, you could have the text spoken to you, and also you could click right here to skip it, and uh, they'll give you a call on the phone, and you have to like press a button or something to activate your account. But otherwise, you can just type this text in, and it'll do automatically. And then you want to agree to the terms of service and the privacy policy, and if you want to use Google+, then you can check this box. So we'll hit next step. And um, this is basically it's it. It's done. Um, they're probably going to ask you if you want to add a profile picture, but you don't have to do that. We're going to go ahead and skip that for this. Um, and they're welcoming us, and we're going to hit get started. <clears throat> All right. So now that our account is created, we can go ahead and go to YouTube and upload our video. So here we are at YouTube.com, and we're going to go over here. We're going to click Sign In. And as you can see, uh, it probably remembers your your email address that you just made up, and you need to log in with your password. All right, now if you didn't put in your phone number or anything earlier, they're going to prompt you for that, but you can skip that if you want, and just hit save and continue, and it'll go. All right, so now they're saying, oh, welcome to your homepage, and ask if you want to connect it. Um, I'm going to click next and skip that. They also want to know what kind of channels you want to follow. We're going to skip that and skip this. Alright, so here we are in our YouTube account. And what we're going to do now is we are going to uh, look for uh, our video from earlier. Here it is. There it is! All right, so uh, here we are on our video page, and um, as you can see, this is our yeah, right to stay Alex. video. And uh, so what you want to do now is click down here, or is it click to leave a comment, and it's going to prompt you, and it's going to um, give you, I don't know, some information about your persona on YouTube. So we're going to click OK, I'm ready to continue. And uh, now we click in the comment box. As you can see, it comes up and asks you if you want to create a video response, which is what we want to do. So we're going to click on that link. All right, so uh, when, you, when you click to submit a video response, you get this page, and you can either choose a video that you've already uploaded, or we can upload a new video, and that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to click Upload a New Video and press Start. And it's going to bring up this little uploader, and you can actually just pick your video out on your computer and drag it and drop it right here on the page. 
And it does a lot of stuff automatically. It's already started uploading the video, and it wants you to name it, so we'll say, uh, right to stay video response. And then you can put in a description where you talk a little bit about your video and what you're trying to say. And you guys also tag it and make it easier to find if you like. And maybe put something in there about song or the campaign or about you or just whatever you, you feel like tagging it with. And um, other than that, the privacy settings, um, you could make it public or unlisted, but if you make it private, then we won't be able to see it. So that won't really do us much good. Um, and those are most of the, the important settings. YouTube will save all these changes for you. You see right here it says saved. So um, otherwise you should press the save button. But um, that's basically all the work you have to do. At this point the video is going to upload and when it finishes uploading it's going to say that it's processing. Once it says that it's processing, it's okay to close out of your browser and go about your business because that means that your video has already been uploaded and YouTube is converting it and putting it on their website. So, uh, but until then, leave your window open and make sure that the whole thing uploads. And uh, after that, we will be able to see your video and that's basically it.